Hi, welcome to the Salesforce Files Winter 14 demonstration. My name is David Goldbrenner, and I'm a product manager for Salesforce Files. This demo is going to focus on Salesforce Files Sync, our new solution for syncing, sharing, and collaborating on all your documents. At the end of this demo, we'll learn how Salesforce admins can activate Salesforce Files Sync for their users. First, let's take a look at the benefits for end users. Let's meet Cindy, who works for Pacifica Corp. Pacifica sells technology products, and Cindy wants to use Salesforce Files Sync to help her team close the deal. Let's start on Cindy's Chatter tab. If we click on the Files icon on the left-hand side, we can see there's a new filter called Synced. Before we look more closely at this, let's switch over to the Salesforce Files tab, where we can get a better view of Cindy's world of files. The first thing you'll notice is that the filter layout on the left-hand side has changed to be more streamlined and efficient. There's also a new filter, Synced. If we click on this, we see that Cindy has synced three folders in one file. Of course, we encourage users to sync however many files and folders they work with on a regular basis, up to thousands if necessary. Let's take a look around the Files tab. In addition to the synced filter, there is a link in the upper right-hand corner that allows Cindy to download the Salesforce Files Sync desktop client. If she clicks on this, she sees a dialog instructing her how to download the desktop client. We're not going to do this right now, since she already has it installed. Now let's take a look at Cindy's desktop. In the Windows system tray, we see the Salesforce file sync icon. If we right click on it, we see a menu with all of the features you would expect in a file sync product. If I click open Salesforce files folder, I'm taken directly to Windows Explorer with the Salesforce files folder selected. We can see that Cindy has the exact same files and folders here as she did on the web. Finally, she also has these files and folders on her mobile device. Any file she adds in any one of the locations will sync to all the others. Let's see a sync in action. Cindy has been working on an important product brochure that will help her team close a deal. She's going to drag it into the Salesforce files folder. If you look at the Salesforce Files icon, you can see it blinking and syncing. Now, if we return to the web, we'll see the new file in the cloud. Easy as that. The file is private to Cindy until she chooses to share it. Now, busy Cindy is on the go, so let's take a look at Cindy on her Salesforce One mobile app. You can again see she has the exact same files and folders here. This is sync in action. Her files everywhere at her fingertips. But the power of Salesforce and Chatter is that you can easily share information right into the business context you need to get your work done. Cindy wants to share with her team that product brochure that she just synced. Back on the web, Cindy is going to share it with a Chatter group called Marketing Strategy, where she collaborates with her colleagues on marketing issues. Cindy can create a post and select the file directly from Sync. Since the file is already in the cloud, there's no waiting for it to upload. Cindy wants to let key colleagues know about her post, so she's going to at mention them and enter a comment. Just by doing so, Cindy has gone beyond just sharing and is now collaborating on the document. Now her colleagues will receive the chatter post and be able to respond. Here we see Eli logged in. He has reviewed the deck and is going to comment. Now Cindy sees Eli's comment and decides she likes his advice. Before Salesforce files sync, Cindy would have had to modify the deck and then re-upload it. But now she can just edit it in place, natively, on the desktop, and the changes will sync right up to the cloud. We can see the change syncing up, and in a few moments, the new version will be in the cloud. The changes show up wherever the document is referenced. That means everyone always has the latest version of the document. If we go to the file's detail page, we can see that all versions are saved in an easy-to-use version history. Cindy's almost done. 
Now that she has a version of the deck she's happy with, she's going to take the final step and share the document into a sales opportunity where it's needed to close a deal. Let's navigate to the opportunity. We can see from the record that this is an opportunity to sell 10,000 tablets to the United Delivery Service Company so they can equip all their drivers with state-of-the-art technology. From the chatter post, we see that Eli thinks he can close the deal, but he needs Cindy's deck. Since the deck is already synced to the cloud, Cindy can share it with a few clicks, no waiting for it to upload. So we've just seen the power of Salesforce file sync in action. It helps you get your work done by making sure your files are always with you, that you can share them easily into critical business processes, and that you and your colleagues can collaborate to get to that perfect final document quickly and easily. Now, let's see how an admin can quickly and easily set up Salesforce Files Sync. We're in the setup tree, logged in as an admin. First, let's find the settings to turn Salesforce Files Sync on for the org. We'll navigate to Chatter Settings and turn on the org perm Allow File Sync. Since it's already on for this org, we won't make any changes. Remember, this activates sync for the org, but doesn't actually turn sync on for any users. You have to take another step and turn sync on for selected users using permission sets or for all users on a profile. We'll look at both methods. To activate sync for a profile, navigate to the profile and turn sync on. Once you're done, all users on that profile will see the same functionality we just demonstrated. The other way to give sync to users is to create a permission set. For more information on permission sets, see the Salesforce help pages. In this org, we have a permission set called sync, and as you can see in the permission set, the sync feature is located in the system permissions section. Once the permission set is created, you can assign it to users in the normal way. Here we can see that Cindy has the sync permission set assigned to her user. Again, if you need any help, check out the Salesforce online help. Finally, remember that when your users come into work in the morning, they may not know that sync has been activated for them or how to use it. Please contact your account executive or other support representatives for information on how to introduce your users to Sync, including welcome email templates that you can send and easy to follow user guides that you can distribute. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you and enjoy Salesforce Files Sync.